Hey everybody, Sam Kavaris in the Nimnik Chevrolet Sports Update. It's interesting for the Jaguars as they take on the Lions this week. The Lions are certainly a disappointment in their own right. Everybody thought that they would really contend this year and uh, they come in with a losing record. The Jaguars keep getting in their own way and tripping over their, moms, their own selves and although they probably played their best game of the year against the Packers last week, still came up with a loss. What's interesting for the team now is that you've got Matt Stafford and Calvin Johnson coming to town. Now Johnson is not 100%, but at the same time the Jaguars defensive backfield is decimated. Lowry won't play, Rasheen won't play, Derek Cox is a game time decision because of his back. So, I mean, they're, they're going to be, you know, doing with backups in terms of Will Middleton and Mike Harris. Um, Prasinski will start at safety. So, you know, this is a very different, while, while they've performed pretty well, I mean, it's the next man up, but you really got to have that attitude. But the Jaguars certainly are, are not at full strength. Greg Jones nor MJD will pl play in the game as well. So this is a, and Montel Owens won't play either. So this is a team that continues to be beat up, but they've got a couple of games back-to-back, -back, obviously Sunday against the Lions, and then the Thursday night game coming up against the Colts, which you can see on Channel 4 as well as the NFL Network. Big weekend, obviously, for college football. Gators get right back and have an opportunity to play against Missouri. Still a lot of things in front of them. I mean, just think if Florida goes 10-1 and this year. I mean, did anybody really see that coming after what happened to them last year? Not at all, and that, that's something that obviously Gator fans have gotten spoiled about in the past, that if we don't go to Atlanta, we don't contend for the national championship, then we're not happy. But that, that's good. That's good to have that kind of attitude. But, boy, if you had said, hey, you guys are going to be 10-1, and one, what would you have said? Probably okay. Georgia still controls their own destiny, obviously, as uh, the Dogs have two SEC games less left, and they'll be favorites in both of them, and if they win, they will end up in Atlanta. Uh, big game between Alabama and LSU, obviously, will determine who represents the West. Boy, it's been great high school football this year. It really has been. Uh, First Coast remains undefeated. Uh, Fletcher finds out, as good as they are, that they're going to have to travel in the first week. Bowles wins the district again. Just a lot of really good high school football as we come to the last week of the regular season in Florida. And how about Camden County going over to Lowndes and beating Lowndes over there pretty soundly to remain undefeated. I'm Sam Kavaris, and that's the Nimnik Chevrolet video sports update.